Hey everyone, it's Sarah Gallagher here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share a personal story that's been really tough for me to talk about, but I feel like it's important to share. It's about my experience with a stalker on Instagram and how it got so bad that I finally had to stop using the platform altogether. I've always loved Instagram. I love sharing my life with you guys and connecting with you through comments and direct messages. But over the past year, I started to notice something weird. I was getting comments and messages from a user who seemed really obsessed with me. At first I thought it was just a fan, but then I realized that this person was commenting on every single post I made, often multiple times a day. I tried to ignore it, but then I started getting messages from the same user. They were sending me creepy messages like I know what you're doing and I'm watching you. I was freaked out, but I didn't know what to do. I tried to block the user, but they just kept creating new accounts and messaging me again. It was like they were stalking me online. I started to feel really scared and vulnerable. One day, I got a message from the user that really crossed the line. They sent me a picture of my own house with a note that said, I know where you live. That's when I knew I had to take action. I went to the police and reported the stalker. They were really helpful and supportive, but they told me that it's really hard to track down online stalkers. I was devastated. That's when I realized that I had to take matters into my own hands. I decided to stop using Instagram altogether. It was a hard decision, but I knew it was the right one. I know that this experience has taught me a valuable lesson. I need to be more careful about who I interact with online, and I need to prioritize my safety and privacy. I hope that my story can help others who may be going through similar experiences. Don't hesitate to reach out to the authorities if you're being stalked or harassed online. And remember, your safety and privacy are worth more than any social media platform. It's been a few months since I quit Instagram, and I have to say, it's been a huge relief. I don't miss the constant stress of wondering when the stalker would strike again. I don't miss the feeling of being vulnerable and exposed. And I don't miss the anxiety that came with it. Instead, I've been focusing on my own well-being. I've started practicing yoga and meditation, and I've been spending more time with friends and family. I've realized that there's so much more time with the social media. <laughs> now, I know that not everyone will have the same experience that I did, but I want to encourage you all to be careful online. Don't share personal information or photos that could put you at risk, and don't engage with users who make you feel uncomfortable or unsafe. Let's all prioritize our safety and privacy online. Let's take back control of our lives and our well-being. And let's remember that there's a whole world out there beyond social media. I also want to encourage you all to seek help if you're experiencing something similar. Don't be afraid to reach out to a trusted friend, family member, or authority figure. And don't hesitate to report any suspicious or threatening behavior to the authorities. Writing has always been a therapeutic outlet for me, and it's helped me process my emotions and reflect on my experiences. I encourage you all to find your own creative outlets, whether it's writing, art, music, or something else entirely. Remember, you are not alone. There are people who care about you and want to help. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for support. And always prioritize your safety and well-being. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any thoughts or experiences you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.